e, Yeşim Taşkın dan gelecek yine Hacettepe Üniversitesi'nden e, The Use of Different Size and Concentration of Gold Nanoparticles for Detection of Carlac Gene. E, buyurunuz Yeşim Hanım. Hello, my name is Yeşim Taşkın and in today I'm going to be presenting my project name The Use of Different Size and Concentration of Gold Nanoparticles for the Detection of Cryvan AC Gene. And this project has been conducted together with Dr. Soro Park Brede and Remzia Yilmaz. That is why that I'm presenting in English. Firstly, I would like to uh, begin with quick outline. I will be explaining what is GMO. We will further talk about what's the legislation. We will get to know our material. And then we will talk about what is nano, what is nanotechnology, what are the examples of nanobiosensors examples, and what are gold nanobiosensors. And our objective is to develop a cryon AC detection with gold nanoparticle-based nanobiosensor. And we will further discuss and see the results. So quickly, what is GMO? Genetically modified organism and GM foods are defined as which the genetic material, the DNA, has been altered in a way that does not occur in a natural way, in a natural recombination. And we often call this genetic engineering. And GMO regulations in Turkey evolve in the scope of biosafety law number 5977, and analysis of this genetically modified organism can be performed by polymerase chain reaction. In Turkey, GM varieties are limited uh, to use as feed, And the food also uh, to, does not contain GMOs, but residual DNA or contamination from the other product must be detected. And today, a uh, total of 39 GM varieties, including 13 soybean, have been approved. Uh, soybean has been cultivated mainly because it's rich in oil and protein, and uh, it's a major crop and mainly produced in US and Brazil in a genetically engineered way. And our soybean event is MON87701, and because of this detection is a gene-specific, and we are trying to detect the Cryven AC gene, which functions as a resistance to uh, Lepidopteran insecticides by selectively damaging their mid-gut lining. So what is nano and nanotechnology? International Organization for Standardization defined nanotechnology as a design, a characterization, a product, its application has been done in a nanoscale, so below 100 nanometers. And currently um, there is a growing research and mainly gold nanoparticles integrated fast rapid test for infectious diseases and uh, HIV, COVID-19 has been implemented. And agri-food sector also has taken advantage of this nanobiosensor, maybe uh, in nano encapsulation in order to achieve a longer shelf life, uh, functional foods in processing the nanofiltration. But why gold nanoparticles? Because when gold is nano size, it has a unique uh, physiochemical and electrochemical properties. It's, it can be orange, pink, or even purple. And this color change allow us to visually detect the changes. It has a, a versatile surface chemistry, which allows us to have a lower detection limit, lower detection limit. limit. Um, gold nanoparticles has a single-stranded DNA affinity, which uh, enables for the ease of functionalization. And gold nanoparticle synthesis is non-toxic and it's relatively inexpensive. So methods, I would like to first quickly explain how the assay works in the principle. So gold has a unique absorbance intensity at uh, 520 nanometer, and we can absorb it with the spectrum from 400 to 700. And when gold comes interaction with the single-stranded probe, and in the solution, if there is a non-target uh, presence, After hybridization, we will still have the single-stranded DNA and further addition of gold and salt, the gold nanoparticles will be stabilized and we will have, we will keep the absorbance intensity at 520 nanometer. But if there is a prop and it's complementary target, after hybridization, we will have the double-stranded DNA. And when we add the gold and salt, gold nanoparticles will not be protected and salt in those aggregation, we will see a color change from purple and absorbance intensity shifts to between uh, 600 and 700 nanometer. 
So we first synthesized the gold nanoparticle with uh, most well-known method Turkevich in 1950 with the gold ions reduction with citrate. And we have the genomic DNA isolated from the certified reference material with the gene matrix food extract DNA purification kit. And we have the prop uh, specific to Cryvan AC gene, which we obtained from European Union approved reference method for um, detection of with polymerase chain reaction. And further, we have the genomic DNA in prop and solution. We will denaturate in order to get the double strand DNA uh, denaturation. And further, annealing with the props and further addition of uh, different size and concentration gold nanoparticle and salt in those aggregation, we are expecting a color change with respect to GMO levels. And we will further see and read the uh, spectrophotometer with uh, absorbance spectrum. So results. We, in line with the literature, we will able to get gold nanoparticle in circular and uniform morphology with uh, three different patches. So we have five, six, and eight number gold nanoparticles. So number five and eight has similar concentration and number uh, six and eight has similar in nanoparticle diameter. So comparing them in pairs will give a better understanding. So uh, concentration and purities of the extracted DNAs were determined with uh, nanodrop and we have them in the uh, high purity with having blank almost 0% GM and almost 100% uh, extract, we were able to get different levels of GMO dilution with 25, 50 and 75% GMOs. So with the first batch with number five, which has the smallest diameter, we were uh, with the smallest diameter of gold resulted in a, a distinct color change from red to purple uh, respectively with the more GM levels. So, and due to surface plasma resonance, absorbance intensity, sh intensity sh shifted and we can follow it with the ratio from uh, 620 to 520 ratios in line with the aggregation level increase uh, to more target uh, GM levels. So why uh, six numbered batch having a 15 nanometer uh, diameter, color change from red to purple was also observed and uh, we can sense it with the naked eye. And absorbance intensity um, strongly shifted to between 600 and 700 nanometer in the target sample as well. With the uh, batch number eight having the uh, biggest diameter gold nanoparticle, um, have a slightly less uh, distinct color change, but we can still observe it from a bright red to more darker deep reds, respectively with the more uh, GMO levels, and can be seen with the ratios, again, with, from 700 to 500 ratio, and in 10 minutes, the reaction and the color change completed in the 10 minutes. So let's compare them. Nanoparticle batch having eight and six having the same particle size, but nanoparticle batch number eight has a higher intensity intensity at um, it naked form. So more intensity when it naked form also converts more aggregation uh, observed in the solution and more uh, absorbance shifts. But when we compare with number five and eight having the same con concentration, but number five having a smaller diameter resulted with more distinct color change and also in the more distinct absorbance shift because smaller diameter in the same concentration has uh, more surface area that can be con contact, get into contact with the genomic DNA and salt. So with these, we can see uh, how different batches of gold nanoparticle affected on the absorbance change while detection different GMO levels. So the use of different size and concentration of gold nanoparticle for the detection of Cryvan AC gene has been developed under the optimum condition and we can see the color change from deep red to purple and the detection time was estimated as 10 minutes. 
And we can see that this project is in the intersection of biotechnology and nanotechnology together. And this application can be a decision tool prior to PCR analysis because of this solution is rapid, cost-effective, but there's a limitation such as the signal reprodu reproducibility against we see that with the different size and concentration of different gold nanoparticle batches. My quick references, and I would like to thank you. And if there's uh, any questions that I will be happy to hear. Huh. Teşekkür ediyoruz. Uh, do you prefer English or Turkish? No problem. Maybe soru cevabı belki Türkçe alabiliriz ya da kim nasıl tamam. isterse. Tamam. Ee, bundan sonraki çalışmalarınız ne bununla ilgili? Anladığım kadarıyla ilk temeli oturtmuşsunuz. Ee, çalışmanızda bundan sonra gideceğiniz nokta nedir? Neler yapıyorsunuz ya da ne planlıyorsunuz? Çok teşekkür ederim soru için. Ee, aslında biz bu renk dönüşümünün bu çok net oluşu ve e, iyi sonuç optimize ettikten sonra metodumuzu e, bir makine öğrenmesi, bir yapay zeka integrasyonu üzerinde çalışıyoruz şu anda. Çünkü renk dönüşümü, absorbans değişimi e, bu makinenin öğrenmesiyle birlikte aslında bu sofistike cihazlara ihtiyaç olmadan belki bir fotoğrafını çekerek ve bunun görüntü işlemesiyle ya da absorbans datalarıyla birlikte daha e, hızlı bir e, detection tool haline getirebilme üzerine şu an çalışıyoruz. Çok güzel. Buyurun. Var mıdır başka sorumuz? Cengiz Hocam buyurun. Yok hocam teşekkür ederiz. Tamam. Güzel bir yöntem optimize etmişsiniz. İnşallah daha da ilerletirsiniz. Elinize sağlık. Evet çok, çok güzel, çok keyifli. Hani umarım da devam ettirirsiniz. İlk çalışmalar gayet ümit verici ve çok güzel anladığım kadarıyla. Umarım devam ettirirsiniz. Teşekkür ediyoruz. Ben teşekkür ederim. İyi kongreler şimdiden. Tamam. Ee, bir sonraki